Whenever we discuss the sport of swimming, it is almost difficult to not think about the flying fish of Baltimore. A superior athlete who began his swimming career at the age of five, you'd be surprised to know he was initially afraid to put his head underwater. To overcome this fear, he first learned to backstroke so he could keep his head above the water. In time, the swimming pool became a safe haven for him. He knew that one day all his dreams would break into reality, yet no one could have imagined that one day he would have more Olympic gold medals than 66 other countries combined. In 1985, Michael Fred Phelps II, was born in Baltimore, Maryland. At the age of 15, he was invited to the U.S. national team, and competed for the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney. While he did not receive a medal and finished in fifth place, it was only the beginning of his journey. In 2004, Michael began to work restlessly with only one goal in mind, to become an Olympic gold medalist. His coach Bob Bowman once said, I have never seen anyone practice like Phelps. He is always practicing to reach his goals during holidays and even his birthday. In 2004 Summer Olympics, Michael Phelps finally reached his lifelong dream and won not just one, but six Olympic gold medals. However, his thirst and ambitions to accomplish more were not fulfilled, and each year he dominated the competition by breaking his own world records from previous years. He had only one goal in mind which he dreamed of every night, breaking more world records. In 2008, Phelps competed in eight different styles of swimming and received eight gold medals. On that day, the world witnessed an incredible performance. One that happens once in a lifetime, yet in this case, it had only happened once in the history. Michael Phelps became the most accomplished champion in the Olympics. But for Michael, it was just the beginning for an outstanding career. Immediately, he began to focus on the 2012 Olympic Games which took place in London. Although, he did not receive as many medals as he did in 2004 and 2008, he was able to break the record for the greatest number of Olympic medals held by an athlete. Phelps was able to hold 22 Olympic medals. With so many accomplishments, that seemed unreachable for any other athlete, Phelps was at the peak of his career and had nothing else to prove. In 2010, while earning a million dollars for his championship in 2008, he established the Phelps Foundation which focused on growing the sport of swimming and promoting healthier lifestyles. Being involved with this foundation Michael decided to retire from the sport, but he knew well that he still had the fire to return one last time and break the world record for the most consistent appearances in Olympics as a swimmer. In 2014, it was announced that Michael Phelps had begun preparing for his fifth Olympics which was the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio, Brazil. On that night, another five goals and a silver medal were added to Michael's unprecedented record of 23 golds, three silvers, and two bronzes. This time, having nothing more to accomplish, the Baltimore Bullet retired from the sport of swimming. The five-year-old boy who was once afraid to keep his head under the water and had to witness the harsh reality of his parents' separation, is now known as the most accomplished athlete of all time. He is now a father of three and the head of the Phelps Foundation where he uses his time to educate the new generation about the importance of self-belief, the significance of hard work and passion in one's journey towards their goal. No matter the obstacles and the changing circumstances, it is crucial to not lose hope and just keep swimming.